We all know how naughty little Krishna was. But did you know Ganesha was naughty as well? This story you might not have heard, so listen carefully. Little Ganesha was walking happily down the road. He was searching for anyone or anything that he could play with. Suddenly he saw a bright shiny white object. He went closer and picked it up. It was a conch shell. He held it close to his ears and he heard the sound of the ocean waves. He instantly loved the shell. He ran back to his house on Mount Kailash. He held the conch to his lips and blew on it. Oh, the sound was amazing. He ran all around the mountain, blowing the conch shell in all directions. Vishnu, meanwhile, was reclining calmly on his Adi Sesha. He realized something missing from one of his hands. He checked. The lotus was there. Chakra was there. Gada was there. But his conch shell was missing. Where is it? Where is it? He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Then he heard the sound. Oh, so beautiful. Where was it coming from? From way far up high. Could it be Mount Kailash? He had to go and check. So he went and he saw little Ganesha happily playing with his shell. Now he knew Ganesha was a little boy and would get angry if he asked for it back. What to do? He went and prayed to Lord Shiva, Ganesha's father. Shiva heard the story and laughed. He said there is only one way he could get the shell back and that was if he worshipped Ganesha. Vishnu smiled and agreed. He did not mind that Ganesha was just a little boy and he was a great god. No, he humbly went and offered to Ganesha the prettiest of flowers, the tastiest of modaks, the juiciest of fruits and requested him to please give it back. Ganesha was happy with the way Vishnu asked for it and parted with the shell and Vishnu got the conch shell back. That is the story of Nati Ganesha.